Okay, you all, I now have a book that is apparently a novel series called The Lunar Chronicles. It's by Marissa Meyer. It's called The Lunar Chronicles. It's illustrated by Kathleen Gee. The pages are perforated. It's a 10 by 10. So about the same size as your Johanna Basford books. Yep, 10 by 10. And the pages are perforated, like I said. There's an introduction. I believe this tells you about the stories itself or the novels. And then it starts introducing the cast. Like I said, the pages are perforated. And she has it worked so that all the pages are one-sided as they have writing on the back of the images. So you could use whatever you wanted as long as you used lot through protection. Um, I'm not sure why I bought this. I think because I saw somewhere somebody wanted to see it. But the images in it are really pretty. That might be another reason I bought it. I might have just been browsing and looked through it on Amazon. But the people that like to do um, realistic coloring or people coloring, they'd really enjoy this book. People that like fantasy, and of course the people that read the novels. Um, now that my eyesight's some better, I should get back to doing some reading. Some cool images here. I tell you over here who it is. This is Dr. Dimitri Erland. This is a lunar aristocrat. Long name. Queen Levana. Sounds like a book series that my son might like. My daughter too for that matter. This is the world of the Lunar Chronicles. This is Artemisia's palace. Our Arty Artemisia, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is New Beijing in the gardens of New Beijing Palace. So it's got landscape in here. This is Benoit Farm and Gardens. Castles, people. This is Cress's Satellite, whatever that is. The Sahari Desert. The Menagerie. I am sure that people that have read these um, book series would really enjoy this book. Prince Kai at the Market. Cute young man. Queen Levana arrives on Earth. And the Ludimus Quarantine. Sorry about the little bit of a shadow I got there. The 126th Annual Peace Ball. Cinder fleeing from the ball. She didn't just lose a shoe, she lost the foot. Pages have a chance to see they're perforated to want to tear out when I flip the page. The flights of the abandoned Mori farm. Wolf comes to the farm. This would be a beautiful pick done, wouldn't it? On the Maglum train. Inside the Opera House. The Secret Under the Farm. The First Attack. Receiving orders from Mistress Sybil. Look at that hair. My goodness. Training on Rampion. Cress's first haircut. Oh my. Can you imagine having to brush that? Mine's down to the middle of my back, and Jesus, I've got natural curly hair. It's a nightmare. But I have to keep it long, because it's even harder to deal with short, because it's like an afro. It's wild. Kind of like my granddaughter's hair. Infiltrating the royal wedding. We tried to take some pictures yesterday, but they're not very cooperative anymore. By order of the queen, 
the royal wedding. Cinder's trial. I don't know what she's on trial for. The queen's deception. Beneath the glass. So we have Cinder and then we have whoever this is. Like a sleeping beauty. And there we have the coronation. And they all live happily to the end of their days. How nice. Anyway, it's kind of a cool book. People that have read this book series would really enjoy this. Um, it would bring it to life for them. So anyway, there you go. Thanks, guys.